Hello again. Today I'm going to continue the discussion about configuring Linux to act as a router firewall using the IP tables. Here in this session, we want to enable our LAN clients uh, to connect to the internet as well as to the DMZ services. Also, we want to let uh, the internet clients to be able to access uh, our DMZ services. So, to let uh, the LAN clients be able to connect to the internet, we need to add three IP table rules here. The first one, and as shown in the figure, is uh, to allow forwarding from the LAN interface to the Wi-Fi interface. For all packets, we state new, related, and established. Uh, the second rule is to allow forwarding uh, packets with only related and established states from the Wi-Fi interface to the LAN interface. The third one is to enable mask routing uh, on the Wi-Fi interface. Uh, so to forward uh, the traffic uh, from the LAN interface to the Wi-Fi interface, we need to add these rules. IP tables append forward input interface is the uh, LAN interface M O one. Output interface. This is the Wi Fi interface WLP4S node M contract uh, with contract state new uh, established. and related G accept also to forward uh, all the established and related traffic from the Wi-Fi interface to the LAN interface IP tables append forward Time the input interface WLP four uh, S node and the output interface should be the LAN interface ENO one with M contract CT state. On the established and related G accept. Okay. Uh, to enable mask routing. IP tables T net append post routing uh, the output uh, interface W L P four S node G maskerot Okay um, Of course you can use the SNET uh, target here uh, But for simplicity I have uh, used the maskerot target Okay next uh, to let the LAN clients uh, being able to access the DMZ services, again, as shown in the figure, we have to allow forwarding uh, all traffics with state new, related, and established 
from the LAN interface which is the ENO1 to the DMZ interface ENP3S node and uh, also allow forwarding all established and related packets from the DMZ interface to the LAN interface IP tables append forward uh, input interface uh, ENO1 output interface ENP3S node M contract CT state new re established and related G accept um, second command is to forward the uh, established and related uh, packets from the DMZ interface to the LAN interface IP tables A forward input ENP3S node output ENO1 M from track with state CT state established and related G accept okay IP tables list forward okay all right now save uh, this change and you are done service IP tables save okay um, allowing our uh, DMZ services to be accessible from the internet to let uh, any internet client be able to access our DMZ services we have to add number of rules to uh, uh, IP tables on the Linux router firewall box but first let me remind you about uh, this scenario uh, any connection attempts coming from the internet which destined to any uh, of our DMZ services will be sent directly uh, to our DSL which holds our domain name and uh, the aliases that's assigned to it by uh, the service provider actually uh, and due to our request the people at the service provider domain section contacted the DNS admins uh, of our parent domain and ask them to add uh, records for our domain name and its aliases also they did the same thing with the in address ARPA uh, domain admins so our domain name should now be resolved in uh, both forward and reverse direction on the internet DNS databases uh, the DSL and uh, upon configuring it uh, doing that we'll then forward the connections coming from the internet 
that are destined to our uh, domain name or its aliases to the Linux router firewall box. Actually, it's a denatting process, and it will be done uh, when you properly uh, configure the DSL doing that, and you have to do that yourself on the DSL. Uh, now. On the router firewall box, this connection again denoted to the specific machine uh, running the service the internet client want to connect to on the DMZ LAN. Uh, on the DMZ LAN, we uh, have actually configured three Linux machines. The first one, which is at 192.168.2.3, runs a very secure FTP server. The second one, uh, 192.168.2.4 run the Apache HTTP and HTTPS web server. Uh, the third one at 192.168.2.5 runs the postfix mail server. Uh, to let our DMZ FTP server accessible from the internet, first we need to add the following rule in the net table pre routing chain. This is to change uh, the destination address of the packets coming from the DSL to the Linux router box for TCP ports uh, 21 and TCP port ranges uh, 55550 to 55560 and redirect them to the same ports on the corresponding FTP server machine at 192.168.2.3 on the DMZ LAN, which is configured to act as passive FTP server. That's why we need uh, to assign some port ranges for the FTP data channels. In the upcoming videos, I'm uh, going to show you how to configure Linux FTP server. Okay, here are the rules we need to add to the Linux firewall router to let the FTP service available to the internet clients. The first rule here will do the denatting for uh, the FTP ports specified above to the dedicated machine on the DMZ LAN. In the remaining rules here, we will create FTP custom chain to control access to the FTP service. This is done by using the IP table uh, recent module. And here we allow only 10 connection in five minutes time window from any uh, specific IP address. So in the second rule, we will create the FTP custom chain. The next rule, which will be added to the forward chain, is uh, for sending the packets uh, coming from the Wi-Fi interface to the DMZ interface with TCP destination ports 21 and range of TCP ports 55550 to 55560 to the FTP custom chain. In the last three rules here, we use the recent module to allow only 10 hits in five minutes time window from any specific IP address. And uh, anything exceeds that will be dropped for five minutes okay IP tables Tnet uh, append to pre-routing steam to uh, 192.168.1.2 this is uh, uh, our firewall uh, router box protocol TCP and multi port uh, 5 ports destination ports uh, 21 And five 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 zero two five 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 six zero G D net to uh, destination one nine two dot one six eight. dot two dot three this is the uh, uh, FTP server machine on uh, uh, the DMZ LAN <coughs> uh, 
let me add a comment here comment um comment comment let's see it let's name it ftp uh okay then we added the custom chain the ftp custom chain ip tables and ftp okay then uh, forwarding the traffic ip tables and forward from the Wi-Fi interface WLP for S node to DMZ interface ENP3 S node protocol TCP M multi port D ports twenty one five 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 zero two five 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 zero two five 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 six zero okay and steam to our FTP server one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot three M contract city state new uh, established and related and comment um, comment Forwarding, forwarding the FTP traffic. All right, and send it to the FTP chain. Okay. Then IP tables and FTP M recent um, set name. Uh, let be FTP list. FTP list okay IP tables and FTP and recent update Seconds three hundred means for uh, five minutes, and we allow it count eleven hit count in five minutes, which means uh, we allow ten uh, uh, ten new connection. 
name FTP list she drop okay then IP tables append to FTP G accept all right IP tables net list prevoting okay and the forward okay For the HTTP and HTTPS services, TCP ports 80 and 443, we need to forward the traffic coming from the internet that destined to uh, TCP port 80 and 443 to the web server machine at 192.168.24 on the DMZ network. The constraint here is that we are accepting an average of uh, 30 new connection per minute to our web server uh, and we will use uh, the IP tables limit module for that. The first rule here is for denoting the traffic destined to TCP port 80 and 443 to our web server machine at 192.168.24 on the DMZ LAN. Um, the second rule uh, is for creating the web custom chain the third, uh, which is uh, added to the forward chain, is for sending traffic destined to TCP port 80 and 443 to IP address 192.168.24 with state new established and related coming from the Wi-Fi interface to the DMZ interface and sending it to the web custom chain. The next rule is simply uh, to accept an average of 30 new connections per minute provided that uh, we have no more than 50 connections in the last minute to our web server. Anything exceeding that will be dropped by the forward chain default policy. IP tables net e pre routing to 192.168.1.2 B TCP M multi port D ports 80 and 443 G D net to destination one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot our web server at four um comment This is uh, HTTP and HTTPS denetting. Okay. Then IP tables and web okay IP tables and forward 
input interface wlp4s node output interface enp3s node ptcp m multi port d ports 80 and 443 distinct to our web server 192.168.2.4 m on track ct state uh, new established and related. Okay, um, comment. Uh, forwarding the web graphics okay and then send it to the web chain okay IP tables append to the web chain M limit here uh, we use the limit module to allow only uh, 30 new connection per minute mm, limit 30 per minute with burst fifty will be good. J accept okay. Yeah. RP tables. Limit thirty per minute uh, and limit first fifty G set. Okay. All right. For uh, the SMTP protocol, TCP port 25 and mail submissioning TCP port 587, again we need to forward the traffic coming from the internet destined to these ports to the mail server machine at 192.168.2.5. 
uh, but we will accept only no more than 20 new connection within one minute time interval from any specific address. The first rule here is to denote the traffic destined to the SMTP uh, and submissioning ports to the mail server machine. In second rule, we create the mail custom chain. The third rule, uh, which will be added to the forward chain, we send all packets coming from uh, the Wi-Fi interface to the DMZ interface. We set new, established, and related, and destined to uh, port 25 and uh, 587 to the mail target, where we use the IP table recent module to accept only 20 connection in one minute time frame from any specific IP address. Uh, then drop anything exceeding that. IP tables Tnet and forward append pre routing sorry pre routing destined to one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot two protocol um, TCP M multi port D ports the SMTP and submissioning five eight seven G D net to destination uh, our mail server at 192.168.2.5 m Added the new custom chain mail then forward the traffics IP tables and forward I input interface from WLP for S node. Going to uh, ENPCS node, the output interface uh, protocol TCP M multi port D ports uh, twenty five and 587 the submissioning D destined to our mail server 192.168.2.5 in this case and contract uh, CT state new established and related okay 
m comment uh, forwarding uh, v smtp traffic will be good then send it to the mail custom chain okay ip tables and mail m recent um, name mail list will be good set IP tables append mail and recent update seconds 60 second or one minute hit count 21 name a list Okay. IP tables append mail G accept Okay. Okay. The responses from our services to the internet clients uh, should be allowed too. So we need to allow forwarding uh, the packets with the state established and related from the DMZ interface to the Wi-Fi interface. And we need to add uh, this rule to the forward chain. Okay, IP tables append forward input interface. Here, uh, the DMZ interface ENP 3S mode and the output interface. This is the Wi-Fi interface WLP4S node M con track uh, We state uh, establish and related CT state established and related G accept also the mail server on the DMZ LAN should be able to initiate connections uh, to other internet mail servers uh, this is to uh, to be able to send the queued messages to its destinations the following rule allow the mail server doing that IP tables 
send forward input interface ENP3 S node and the output interface WLP4 S node M contract uh, but before uh, source port source uh, address 192.168.2.5 this is the IP address uh, for our mail server protocol TCP uh, destined to the port 25 M contract uh, here the state must be uh, new with state new CT state new G accept okay with this rule our mail server can contact um, any internet mail server to deliver the queued messages okay <coughs> Um, the Linux router we're discussing here can also be configured uh, to act as local and caching DNS server for the clients uh, on the private LAN. In that case, we need to add the following rule to allow the LAN clients to query the DNS service on the router firewall box. IP tables and input input interface this is the LAN interface source address 192.168.0.0 slash 24 P TCP port D port 53 M on track CT state here it must be new established and related G accept Same thing for uh, the UDP protocol, UDP, okay. Uh, the last thing here, and before dropping the unmatched uh, packets, we can uh, log it to the system log. So the last rule in the input and forward chain can use the log target for that with log level info to log the weird packets before dropping it with the chain default policy. Okay, IP tables and input and in this case we will use the limit module limit. to allow only three connections, uh, three packets per minute. Limit burst. Um, yeah, could be three. J log 
with log 11 and 4 and log prefix IP table and put Okay. Uh, and the theme uh, thing for the forward chain. Just change the input to forward okay now uh, let's save everything service IP tables save okay And now if we list the uh, input chain rules the tables list input and numbers okay list forward okay and the net table list rerouting okay and the post routing okay I guess it's enough for this session. In the next video, I will discuss uh, using IP set uh, to prevent post scanning attacks. Thank you for watching and bye.